Hey everybody, it is Travis Holes. I'm with Food Forest Abundance Minnesota and just uh, doing a little progress video for my indoor garden which has tomatoes and peppers and bananas and a bunch of herbs and some fruit trees I'm starting to uh, sprout. I have some seedlings there. I got uh, like three, four, five, six different types of peppers growing here and I got a, some citronella growing and I have my cannabis growing and uh, I'll show you how it's all looking and coming together and they all seem to be doing pretty well everything is doing well but I'm going to turn you around and show you so you can see it for yourself and uh, here we go and there's my deep water culture bucket system with tomatoes and peppers and these guys are three weeks old roughly about three weeks since I sprouted the seeds seedlings um, so they're growing really fast so obviously they're getting a lot of nutrients and they're loving it and I'll be raising the lights up here pretty quick they're getting so tall and I'm gonna trellis them and here's the peppers uh, this one is the black Hungarian and it seems it's taken a while it's not it's growing as fast as the other ones and I mean this is this thing is uh, the same as all these you know three weeks old those ones the cow wonders are starting to come up and then the uh, poblanos are doing amazing I can't wait to get those poblanos. I like making uh, jalapeno poppers with poblanos because they're so big and I can get more bacon on them when I wrap them up. But uh, that's the progress of my tomatoes. We got the yellow pear, Roma, black cherry. And then we got this banana tree here. We got mama's doing pretty good. You got all our little pups. And then look at my, uh, this is going to be my spinach and lettuce and basil and dill and uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember everything I put in there. Um, but I put a few different other herbs in there. Um, but my spinach is coming up. Let me see how it tastes. Not too bad. And my there's green romaine lettuce in here. There's red romaine lettuce and some other stuff. A couple different types of spinach. Uh, looks like is that the basil? I don't know. I, I gotta look at my list of everything I put in there. And then we got slowly but surely they're coming up. And in there I have strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, elderberry, mulberry, and some dwarf cherry trees. And so those are just a little, uh, gonna just be a little hobby for just getting them sprouted and uh, put them in bigger containers in the spring. Uh, we'll see what happens with those. But they, seems uh they need to be stratified i think most of these because uh they're about two weeks old maybe almost three and i've only gotten a few of them to sprout so i'm gonna play around with that a little bit see if i can get some better results um i know the strawberries you can plant them anywhere and they'll they're gonna grow so not worried about them but the cherries, I've tried stratifying cherry seeds and that didn't work for me. So this time I just threw them in the soil and we'll see what happens. And here we got peppers. Uh, what is this one? Uh, Anaheim's. There's actually three different types in here. What else we got? Oh, they're all Anaheim's. All right. And uh, they're starting to flower. You can see. Oh, look at some just fell off. Oh, you get the whole flavor of the pepper in these little 
sprouts that just fell off. Actually, they're little peppers. But uh, as you can see, it's flowering again. This is the third time this is flowering since spring. And then we got this one. You can see my little green pepper on there. And then what's on the back side? A banana pepper, I think, here. But yeah, it's uh, yellow monsters. And I think that's cow wonder. Uh, but that's flowering again. You can see some peppers starting to sprout or starting to grow there. And then this citronella that just, I brought it in here just to, I didn't want to kill it. And the thing's just thriving. And it's just growing like crazy. And then we got the banana plants, little baby banana trees. And they love this light. Look at these nice green leaves. And let me take some of that off. I always use the uh, leaves as mulch. And we got some new pups coming up. No pups on this one, which is, I don't mind that, but that's looking really nice. And we got all these little ones in here. And that's a tiny baby, tiny little pup. And here's the cream of the crop. My purple queen. That's purple queen, purple queen. Um, royal cheese, royal cheese, critical royal cheese, and okay, purple queen. I should put them all together, and so not that I, I'm gonna mix them up or anything, but uh, critical is really starting to fill out, and same here. This this one has taken the longest they're all put in the in the soil the same day and this one just seems to be taking a little longer i don't mind it's still growing and it's probably going to be just fine but uh that's that and uh i'm about to put my uh watering system on here i gotta set it up later today and then you know have an automatic watering timer on my my ladies over here and uh yeah let's check this the levels in here see how we're doing uh, we're good right now but we're gonna need to refill that i think i said it i refill it every 10 days but i want to say Say once a week, maybe 10 days is better. It's hard to say. Can't remember when I made that video. I think it was last weekend. Um, but I added more lights to this system. I just didn't think they were getting enough. And I added two on the side. And I added a, like, a, I don't know if you can see up there added more lights to get better coverage there and all these lights are going to end up going underneath my stairs here pretty soon because that's where I'm going to move all the girls and they're going to grow in here I'm going to line it with the mylar film somebody corrected me on one of my videos because I called this film instead of it's mylar film, but uh, I knew it was mylar, but I totally forgot when I was talking. And uh, but I got corrected, and of course, no big deal. But uh, I gotta stretch that out and give it, uh, make it more reflective than it is. But that's what we got. Um, And it's 72 degrees in here and it stays 72 uh, degrees in here at all times you know sometimes it goes down it's 71 72 right now and yeah all right it's getting up to gotten up to 74 in here 
and then here's how I test if they're thirsty or not. Yeah, see these are just about getting ready to get a nice big drink. About another day on these and then uh, bananas are really, really, they eat a lot. They love, and they love compost and they just tear that shit up and grow fast. But anyway, that's my indoor grow room. And I don't think I've made a video of my upstairs grow room that has my fruit trees in there, but I'll go do that in a minute. But I'm gonna turn you around quick and finish this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, like, comment. Um, sorry about that. But comment. Um, you know, I have some people that dislike my videos, which I don't know. I didn't, that is what it is, but I can't control that. Um, but I'm just here. I'm just a guy in my basement growing food growing weed for the first time because now it's legal to grow it in Minnesota so I'm used to growing everything else but cannabis so now I'm gonna grow cannabis and it looks it looks like it's, it's doing amazing and it's three weeks in uh, close to about 21 days in and I got uh what about five weeks because these are about 60 60 days I think uh, so I can only imagine by, by my birthday, it's in February, these should be ready to go. They'll be huge. But uh, that's that. I don't know if you like my shirt, you can order them off my website at foodforceabundancemn.com. Under, you can look in the link up in the navigation and click on apparel. And you can go in there and order shirts, hoodies, hats, winter hats, uh, bags, water bottles. Uh, what else is in there? Uh, tank tops, all that type of stuff. So go ahead. Uh, everything you do helps me support my food forest design and installation business. And right now it is winter in Minnesota, so I can't install outside, obviously. So my focus has to change during the winter. So now I'm just growing indoors, growing food, and just showing people how easy it is to just grow food in the extra space you have in your home. Like, uh, you can get one of these shelves. Uh, let me turn you around a quick second, and then I'm gonna shut the video down. Um, this shelf here let's see four levels you can get these shelves for 50 bucks i think right about and then you get your lights you zip tie your lights off and uh put them on a timer and away you go but this little shelf if you were growing microgreens you could turn these sideways and you could have two four six Maybe even three trays per level. So that'd be nine trays of microgreens. Or you can have all herbs like this. There's 22 grow sites on those two tubs. And this is one of the easiest systems to set up. You can actually go to my website at foodforceabundancemn.com and there is a link in my navigation called DIY links and you go to that link you can find everything in there you can find shelving trays you know seedling trays uh, buckets uh, the tub systems aeroponics then you've got your aquaponics with your uh, deep water culture system uh, and then we're doing soils but you got all these little your drip trays for underneath your pots um, this uh, shelf liner these little these five gallon canvas bags um, everything these all the lights everything you see here 
is on my website where there's a link that you can go buy it on Amazon. So everything you need to get a system set up in your home is right on my website. And I also have a website called growweedmn.com. Again, that's growweedmn.com. And that's just basically a step-by-step -step beginner's guide on how to grow wheat. And I'm going to start posting my progress videos and images on there just to kind of get it going. And hey, if you grow wheat at home, uh, you can post some pictures to my Facebook page if you like, which is Grow Weed MN on Facebook or Instagram. And I'd be happy to show everyone what you're doing. Um, and that way, everybody can learn together. And that's the way it should be. Everybody teaching each other. And, uh, you know, when you got people collectively thinking alike, it really makes a difference. But anyway, I've rattled on long enough. It's Friday. Have an amazing weekend. And I will talk to you in another video soon. Like, subscribe, comment, and grow food. Not lawns, my friends. See you.